Western world, covering over 40 percent of Brazil alone. It also contains the most powerful river on the planet, mightier than the Mississippi, the Nile, and all the rivers in China. It is, of course, the Amazon. And with billions of tons of carbons in its confines, it plays a key role in cleansing the atmosphere. However, droughts, deforestation, and the increasing presence of humans have taken their toll on the primeval paradise. So much so that the Brazilian government has ordered a study to be carried out to assess the landscape. Correspondent Frank Contreras traveled to the Brazilian Amazon to join the expedition, the Tree Census. South America's Amazon rainforest has been called a living treasure filled with life in its many known and abundant forms. To protect it, Brazil's government is conducting a four-year study known as a tree census. It aims to gather new information to help us understand the effects of global warming, droughts, and the presence of humanity in the Amazon. Brazil uses this huge, strategically placed antenna located in the very center of the South American continent to capture satellite images of recently deforested areas. Every month at São José dos Campos, where our headquarters are located, scientists and researchers collect data on deforestation in the Amazon. This information is then sent to the federal government and the Environmental Protection Agency, IBAMA. Their representatives go to these deforested regions and take action against the people that caused the deforestation. Brazilian researchers use the data to create up-to-date maps showing the precise places where the rainforest is under threat. While the government embarks on its study of the Amazon, Dr. Niro Huguchi has spent decades learning about the total amount of carbon here in the world's greatest rainforest. Our carbon research encompasses the Amazon's entire biomass, from roots to leaves. It's the model with which we have been working since 1987, which is able to explain the complete variation of carbon in a tree. We are able to explain more than 95% of this variation. Many researchers agree that the Amazon gives Brazil the greatest biodiversity on Earth. Harming it affects an untold number of living creatures, including the playful capuchin monkey. A lifelong resident of the Amazon enjoys sharing amazing stories about his relationship with wildlife here. His favorite is about the day he captured this five meter long anaconda when he was a younger man. In those times, fish abounded. If you wanted a jaraki, you could catch big ones. My father used an arrow to fish for them. One was enough for each family member because the fish used to be large. Today, you must eat two or three because they're smaller. He says in recent years, the overall number of freshwater fish here has been diminishing. Scientists estimate that there are some 3,000 species of freshwater fish in the Amazon. That includes the world's largest freshwater fish called the arapaima. Its rich white meat is the key ingredient in many local dishes, but illegal sales are quickly depleting its population. Arapaima are among the hundreds of tons of fish caught daily here in the Amazon River and its tributaries. The seemingly endless supply is sold in this bustling urban fish market in Manaus. The Brazilian Amazon is home to the largest array of insects in the world, with an estimated 70,000 insect species. These tiny creatures play crucial roles in this important ecosystem. Entomologist Ralph Holzenthal and his Brazilian colleagues have come in search of caddisflies. 
the presence of these seemingly innocuous winged creatures indicates that the water is pure. So we're still describing and discovering new species here, um, new, new larval associations, new biology, new life history, and it uh, never seems to end. Every little stream you go to has something new. Every region has something new and different that you haven't seen before. So it's in, in our group and in insects in general, it's, it seems to be almost endless diversity. By studying the rainforest more closely, the government and independent researchers hope that future generations will begin to take actions to conserve this important global resource before it's gone.